the seven biblical feasts, an interpretation of the Holy Bible. Jews and Christians assert that the Lord designed his creation to function around his appointed feasts. Moses wrote, let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons, and for days and years. These are the appointed feasts of the Lord, the holy convocations, which you shall proclaim at the time appointed for them. The New Testament says, these are a shadow of the things to come, but the substance belongs to Messiah. 1. Feast of Passover, Hebrew Pusach, the 14th of Nisan, the first of seven feast days. The Seder Supper commemorates the Hebrews' deliverance out of Egypt, in the year 1446 BCE, or 2314 after creation. The Romans and Jews crucified Messiah Jesus on Passover, in the year 33 CE or 3793 after creation. Messianic Jews and Christians celebrate the Lord's Supper as our Passover lamb. 2. Feast of Unleavened Bread, Hebrew Hag Hamatzat, the 15th through 21st of Nisan. The eating of unleavened bread recalls Israel's hasty departure from Egypt, in 1446 BCE or 2314 after creation. Jews placed Messiah Jesus' body in a guarded tomb for those days, but he rose on the third day. Messianic Jews and Christians assert that the Messiah was both crucified and buried. 3. Feast of First Fruits, the Grain Harvest, Hebrew Yom Harbikuyurim the 16th of Nisan. Observant Hebrews would bring the first fruits of their winter harvest to the temple. Messianic Jews and Christians assert that the Messiah rose from death, on first fruits, 33 CE, or 3793 after creation. 4. Feast of Weeks, Pentecost, Hebrew Shavuot, the sixth of Shivan commemorates the Lord's giving of the Ten Commandments to Moses. Observant Hebrews offer up their first sheaf of grain. Messianic Jews and Christians assert that the Lord poured out his Holy Spirit on Messiah's followers on this date in 33 CE or 3793 after creation. 5. Feast of Trumpets, Hebrew Yom Ter Uar, and Rosh HaShanah, the first or second of Tishri, announced by the sounding of a ram's horn, or shofar, starts the Hebrew civil year, followed by ten days of repentance. Jews and Christians assert that Messiah will appear on the one or the other of these two days. 6. Day of Atonement, Hebrew Yom Kippur, the 10th of Tishri, consists of a day of Sabbath rest and of self-affliction, awaiting Messiah who is to come save Israel. Jews and Christians assert that Messiah will return to earth, on or following this date, when they will look on me, on him whom they pierced. 7. Feast of Tabernacles, Hebrew Sukkot, from the 15th to the 21st of Tishri. Observant Hebrews would present food offerings to the Lord. Many dwell in temporary booths for seven days. Jews and Christians assert that Messiah will extend his millennial reign over Gentile nations as the light of the world. Since Messiah Jesus fulfilled the first four feasts at his first coming into the world, Messianic Jews and Christians expect that he will fulfill the remaining ones, at his second coming to earth.